Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and guests. I come before you today, not as your president of this club, but as a member of Toastmasters International and a person of faith and leadership. As I reflected this week on what to say, I had to reflect on what I have accomplished, excelled, and what I need to do better, better. A word I want to associate with as improvement. The question I had to ask myself as a club officer is, where can I continuously improve and set the bar, not only for myself, but for my home club? I stand and speak to you all that this is my final speech for my pathway, which is dynamic leadership. I have reached the all-encompassing level five. It took almost three years to get to this level and to the end of my pathway. Throughout that time, I have learned so much of myself and what I can do as a leader. My end goal is to be a distinguished Toastmaster so far, my progress to receiving that all-encompassing status is to complete my second pathway. It is going to take time, but I know I will get there. My second pathway will be presentation mastery. And I look forward to starting this path and to deliver a lush of abundance of more presentations and speeches in this current Toastmaster year and in months and years to come. When I accepted the opportunity and challenge to be your club president, I knew it was going to be a mission, a mission of good and to lead in confidence and in faith knowing that I serve others to succeed and to better yourself as I continue to do so in many District 12 leadership positions. Prior to Toastmasters, I have held a presidential position. I was president for my Catholic young adult group in Houston. I had to pray and reflect to accept the position as I did the same prior to being your club president. For those two years of me being president, I led the young adult group in my parish community to be a social and faithful group. Fast forward to November 18, 2018, when I first joined Toastmasters. I did not know what to expect until I met experienced Toastmasters in our club and throughout Toastmasters. Till this day, this wonderful leadership journey continues to unravel the mystery of why. Why am I in this current presidential position? Is it my character? Is it my sociability skills? Is it that I show my true leadership colors or is it all the above? I know with great confidence and in good faith, I would not be where I am at as your club president without a great team and supporting cast, which is our current executive committee and those who continue to support my journey. One of my best traits as a leader of this club is delegation. I delegate a lot and my peers of our cl club's executive committee know that. There is no I in team, there is we. 
myself and your club officers work hard to serve the greater good for you. As a Toastmaster, you're not alone in this Toastmaster process. The heart of our club is not just me, it's you, the members. The club exists because of your continued involvement and your passion and the persistence to practice your craft, not just as a leader, but a, as a wonderful communicator. Yeah, I laugh because after looking back on why I joined Toastmasters and reflecting when I first joined the first meeting, I was nervous and I was challenged to speak and to lead. Anyone who started the same time as myself knew I was nervous. Especially when I did my first speech, which was my icebreaker speech. After all, the Friday morning Toastmaster meetings, those who know in this meeting, I grew with Martin, Charles, Silva, Tina, and those who came before you today know I have come an exceptionally long way to be the man and leader I am now. I also asked myself this too, what is my purpose here? What impact did I give? I give back so much to those who are faithful and those looking to improve and better themselves. The real purpose and truth were bettering myself in this journey as a leader and a communicator and bettering those around me with my sociability, openness and mentorship to others. Not knowing that I brought good to others that is my impact with Toastmasters. That is my purpose. Those who are starting new as a Toastmaster, I encourage you to be the better you and continue to learn and ask questions. Do not be afraid to ask for help in your Toastmaster journey. Utilize the lush resources of what Toastmasters has to offer. Those who have, those who leave Toastmasters or have shied away from Toastmasters, I ask, are they better than where they are now than before? I do not know. I know right now here in our club, we are driving the club forward to a, a positive direction to improve and to practice. Do not quit. Win the race and strive. You will discover throughout your Toastmaster journey that you will learn and know things that you did not know you were capable of. If you had to ask me three years ago, when I first joined, was I going to be a club president, an area E4 director, one of the district's chief judges, and working with our District 12 public relations team? I would say to you, you're dreaming. But guess what? I embraced, I said yes, to the opportunities that came my way in Toastmasters. I'm an experienced Toastmaster now. I may not be the chief executive of Apple or Google, but I can surely tell you this, I am the chief executive of myself, of my faith, University of Toastmasters 2250 and the businesses I am part of. 
I will continue to excel and accomplish and go far and beyond this year to serve and to better myself and others. Whether it is to be a mentor to other Toastmasters and or to continue to serve in district leadership. I wanna say this outright and say, do not limit yourself. Dreams and hard work do come true and they come tenfold. Be the better you. Discover what your true Toastmasters colors are. Again, do not quit. I leave you with this nugget. I will be here to continuously serve as your club president, Toastmaster, leader, and the good person you know and expect me to be and to help you succeed in your Toastmasters journey. Lastly, to my Toastmasters peers who gave me their 360 evaluations this week, I will consider and take them to heart to improve, to be an exemplary leader and person. Thank you, Toastmasters and guests. May God bless your journey our club, and those around us, and who we care and love. Thank you. Onward to the next pathway.